Okay, you're live. Hi everyone, I'm live. All right, give me some grace in doing this because um, this is the first time that I'm doing uh, Facebook Live with some art. And Nina Perez, where are you? Lori, where are you? I'm usually, um, usually I've done it three times Facebook Live um, preaching. And um, because of that, uh, I don't have the, the girls here, Nina especially, to show me how to do this tech stuff. So uh, first time doing this, not really sure how this is going to happen. Thank you. And um, so come join in. Um, I wanted to do this number one because, um, you know, we're all going through this together, right? We're so social distancing. We are um, spending time at home for those that can, the non-essentials. And if you are a healthcare worker, nurse, doctor, uh, truck driver, grocery store, um, uh, worker, all those people that are out there still um, needing to help us, um, thank you. Um, we really appreciate that and we want to um, pray for you and just bless you and thank you for that. So today I'm um, going to share some art that you can make and I wanted to keep this simple and I wanted it to be for not just kids but for adults, for seniors, for anybody who wants to do this. So um, I call her Besides, um, I'm a fashion designer and a fashion illustrator. So these lessons, these classes are going to be based on uh, faith, art, and fashion. Okay, so we're going to do this little global girl. And this little global earth girl, see how cute she is? And you're going to make your own if you choose to. Um, this is the earth, and the earth is hurting right now. And the earth is needing prayer and needing a lot of healing. So... I wanted to um, have everyone make one of these um, so that we can use this as a reminder to continue to pray for the earth. And we'll make some little whimsical faces on there. It's up to you how you want to make it because um, not everyone has art supplies and I'm aware of that. So um, you can just use a regular plate. Um, you can use some markers, you can use paint, you can use acrylics, watercolors, tempura. You can even use colored pencils, crayons, whatever it is that you have and you want to follow us to make this little global earth girl um, on a plate or I also have her, this is a piece of cardstock. You can use, also use um, copy paper and you can follow this along and this can be a coloring page. And so you can make all these really cool patterns in here and um, make her face and you know, have little hearts all around it. You can design your own and get as creative as you want to to follow along with us or go off and make your own. I definitely want to see how everyone makes their own so that it would be really cool to like everyone to show everyone what everyone did because we're all individuals and we all have these pretty cool gifts, right? We all have really cool gifts. And so you, again, this could be a coloring page, kids, moms, dads, seniors, whatever, you can make your own and, um, you know, have the family color things. We, we're we're going to pray. We're going to write the names maybe of people who we need to um, pray for. You can write, um, you know, journal on this, use the back, however you want to use this or however you want to do this, it's totally up to you. So again, this is cardstock, right? And you can use cardstock or copy paper. You can put her on a plate. And then lastly, is this, this is the canvas, right? This is canvas paper, but you can also use a um, 16 by 20 canvas. You can use an eight by 10 canvas. It doesn't really matter. This one is done with um, acrylics and I use some markers and paint and um, black, black, what is that? Black acrylics. You can even use watercolor. So again, it doesn't really matter what you use. If you want to join along with us, um, definitely get whatever supplies you have, whether it's a copy paper, cardstock, if you have a canvas, if you have a plate, whatever you have. I'm going to give everyone a few more minutes just to like connect with me and then we'll start. Um, I want, always want to start off doing this with a little prayer and with reading of the scriptures, okay? So again, I want to combine my art with faith and um, being creative so that we can see what it is, not only that we're creating, but I want whatever we make or we, whatever we um, design, sketch, paint to be a reminder that number one, God loves us, right? 
he does love us. No matter what's going on in the world, no matter what uh, we're going through, God loves us. He wants us to relax. <laughs> he wants us to chill because if we really uh, trust God, he's in control. So many um, of God's people, Christians and um, believers all over the world um, of Christ are praying 2 Chronicles 714, right? And so if you're not familiar with that passage of scripture that is in the Bible, I want to just read something from there. Again, it is 2 Chronicles 714. And that scripture talks about how if we pray, and kids, if this is for you because I have some kids that's joining in, if you're praying, and hopefully you are, that God hears you, right? God hears us when we pray. And when we pray, we come to him and trust him and not try to put our trust and, and, and fear and whatever anxiety or worry that we have. He wants us to just give that to him, right? He says to cast our cares upon him because he cares for us. And so knowing that he cares for us, he doesn't want us to be worried or anxious or fearful, right? He wants us to just trust him, just chill and trust him. And so like I said, 2 Chronicles seven fourteen is when God is saying, and, and at this time, he wants us to humble ourselves. To humble ourselves is to release control, to say, we ain't got this, right? We cannot be in control of the toilet paper. We cannot be in control of like the tissues and everything that some people are freaking out with, right? If we trust him, I had a conversation with someone yesterday and um, my daughter and my, and her husband, my, uh, my son-in-law, are asking people to, um, if they need anything, right? They can't go to the store, they're elderly, their immunity system is compromised, whatever the case may be, maybe they don't have money. Whatever it is, they're going around asking people if they need something, and so they're going to the supermarket, and it's not like a prepackaged bag. They're asking people specifically what they want. And as they're doing this, you know, someone who um, is not in the Fairfield County region, so not able to help them, it's too far away, um, a couple hours away actually, and they wanted ice cream. You know, that may not be, you know, an emergency see to someone because they can't go out of the house to get it, they're senior, but they really want ice cream. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna pray that somehow you get that ice cream. It's not an urgent matter, but guess what? God cares for this person and she's trusting God. Now she's not praying for the ice cream, but I am. I'm gonna pray for that ice cream for her because she's wants ice cream and so that's another thing about not being in control to humble ourselves and ask God what it is that we need I remember when I went to the supermarket a couple of days ago there was no paper towels and then I just turned somewhere and in the pasta section there was like eight rolls of paper towels well guess what God had that for me and he can do the same thing for you so don't be freaked out if you go to that store on a certain day and it's not the, it, whatever it is that you desire one is not there okay so we have to trust God that he's going to provide for what we need. And as we're doing this global girl today, I want you to be prayerful, not just to pray for your needs, pray for those that maybe are in Italy. Italy's going through such a hard, terrible, traumatic time right now. Let's pray, pray for the people in Italy. Let's pray for the people in China. Let's pray for the people in New York City and New Rochelle and all these places that are really hard hit because we don't know what's gonna happen, God does, but we're gonna chill and relax and create some art and whatever it is that maybe people are singing. There was someone that played music on Instagram all, last night and we joined in on the party and he played like awesome music from when, when Carl and I met and we were like, um, what, what kind of, you know, you got the best of my love. These old school songs, and it was amazing. He made the world happy. So whatever your gift is, make the world happy in your space and in the world. So I'm going to do and teach you this little global girl to make my space and your space hopefully happy and use this as an example. So again, Second Chronicles 714, if my people pray, humble themselves and pray, right? God said, I'll heal the land. And that's what we want. We want healing to come, right? Well, as God is healing the land and we repent and turn from the things that are, you know, my mom said to me yesterday, um, you know, God is angry with our behavior. God is upset at our behavior. So he sent us all to our rooms. That's a really good analogy. Maybe this is just the time and I believe it is because I'm enjoying this time, honestly. 
Um, my husband is home. We are enjoying this time. We are not freaked out. We are creating. We're doing little projects around the house. We are thankful that we have this time. And so I want to encourage you to use this time wisely. Get to spend time with your kids. It may be kind of crazy sometimes in the house, and I understand that, but use this time to be with your kids, okay? So when God says to humble yourself, pray, follow his commandments. What are his commandments? That we love one another, right? Are we loving one another in the house as your kids are like going off and crazy and whatever it is that they're doing? Remember, love is patient. Love is kind. <sighs> Breathe, right? If your kids are eating too much of the groceries, um, hide them around the house so they don't see, they don't find it. Put um, Monday's snacks out and let don't let them find the rest rest of the snacks. Hide it, you know, around the house or whatever it is that you got to do. Be patient. Be kind. Have the gentle voice. Love one another. That's following his commandments, right? And then he says that abandon any thoughts or actions that might lead to further sinning. So if we're angry and upset of what of what's going on, and rightly so, we have we're 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 living in this new world of what's going on, right? So we have to put our trust in God that we are going to turn from angry thoughts, bitter thoughts. And I know a lot of us are refocusing and seeing what's really important and what's really real and what's really true, right? Think on those things that are true and of a good report because God is doing something truly amazing during this time. And we need to see what he is doing, not what we want to be uh, seeing or worried or concerned about, but what is he doing? What does he want to do during this time? And so it's truly important that we seek him, spend time with him, and hear what he has to say. And this is what he told me to do. He put this on my heart to do it, and I'm obeying this. And it's really important that as you're creating, as I said, that we turn from our ways of being prideful and selfish and my way and, you know, stomping our feet. That's not the kind of stuff. Whatever, you know, parents send uh, kids to the room for timeout. Well, we're on a timeout right now, right? We're on a timeout so that we can hear him, so that we can see him, so that we can realign ourselves to what it is he wants to do. And number one, he wants us to love one another. He wants us to care deeply for one another. He wants us to not only show love in word, but in deed and in action. And how much more can we show love for each other? right? Start in your homes. Maybe you haven't uh, really talked to your husband like you really should. Get you really connect with him. How about a time to really connect with those that you love? And while you're doing that, let's create some art, okay? When Second Chronicles uh, 7.14 was um, at that time, there was a king, and the king uh, Solomon, he gave enormous um, offerings sacrifices and don't you see this as a time that we are sacrificing right we are giving up enormous things that we love sports entertainment uh, going out to the bar or if that's what you do or you know going out to um, even the church you know whatever it is that you focused on so much and maybe that wasn't the you know, God saying, I'm over here, I'm over here. I'm not, not that to say that you can't do all that stuff, but that, that stuff was driving us so much so. Even ministry, ministry has become an idol for many people. Serving people has become an idol. And the focus has, has been so much on serving others and doing and busy and doing that it took the focus off of him. So out of these enormous offerings that Solomon was giving, the place where they put these um, offerings, they didn't even have enough room for all the sacrifices. They, they ran out of room to put all these sacrifices. So we're running out of room for all the sacrifices that we're having to give up right now. And that's a good thing because, because God is saying, wow, all these sacrifices that my people are doing, now I got their attention. And that's not to say that God uh, put this disease on us or, or, or anything like that. But while it's here, in the midst of while it's here, we can be a global party of people praying, okay? So I'm going to start with, let's see, do we want to start with, cam okay, so I'm going to start with the canvas. And how I direct you on the canvas is how you're going to do it on your cardstock 
or um, your paper plate. It doesn't really matter. Like I said, whatever supplies you have, that's what we're going to do. Okay. So I have this marker. You have a black Sharpie. If you have a black Sharpie, grab your black Sharpie, grab your canvas or your paper or your plate. All right. So I'm going to do it on here. I already put a circle on here with a Sharpie. So I'm going to line this up. Kind of put it down a little. See, I gave her hair. Let me make sure that you can see this. Okay, I'm going to adjust this a little. All right, so I might move this around a little. Okay, so um, see how, put her here, right? Draw the circle around with the Sharpie. And I gave her a bunch of hair and even put some glitter in the hair, right? So um, that's up to you. If you want to um, have just the girl or just the hair, that's up to you. So I'm going to start right over here. Let me make sure I get this in here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to got this. All right. Cool. Can you all say, you know, I've never done this before. So, you know, give me some grace here. I hope that you can see all this really good. Let me just adjust this. All right, good, all right, I think that's good. So again, put the plate, right? Take your Sharpie, put it all around here, get her on, get her on here, all right? Everyone got that? All right, so just so that you can see both of them at the same time, I'm sorry, I keep moving this around, sorry, okay. All right, so now, you have her face, right? You have the nations around that are in green, all right? So now I'm gonna start to draw all of the earth, the world in here, all right? So take your Sharpie. If you don't feel confident that you may need to erase, that's fine. You can also use chalk, all right? So I'm gonna start off with some chalk. You have the world already drawn in the Sharpie, right? Everyone have this? Everyone got that, right? Nice and round. Now, see, boo-boo. I'm queen of boo-boos. I'm not an art perfectionist, never was, never will be, I always call out of the lines, and I don't really care about making anything perfect because there's nothing perfect anyway. So I'm going to take my chalk, and then I'm just going to, whoo, I'm gonna make a little line around there, okay? Then I'm going to do a little swirly swoo around here, right? Okay, so get your chalk out. You can also use a pencil, right? You can use a pen pencil if, you're not, if you don't have the chalk, use a pencil. And then if you don't like where something is, you're going to paint over it anyway, but you can always erase. Also, like I said in the beginning, if you don't have um, paint, if you don't have watercolor, if you don't have acrylics, if you don't have tempura, you can use magic markers, you can use crowns, you can use whatever you want. Um, like I said, for your coloring page, you can make all those cool patterns in there and color. You do not need to have paint, all right? Okay, so now we're going to do a little on here, right? And then we'll do another little continent or island over here all right you can make this as cool as you want it doesn't have to be exactly like mine in fact it won't be exactly like mine because I did this one two three and now this is my fourth time and guess what none of the times were even perfect so it doesn't really matter about that all right so once I have this in here we're gonna to start to paint. Now again, if you don't have paint, you can just use your whatever mediums you have. I'm using a towel to wipe my brush on because um, I don't really wanna tell you to use paper towels if you don't have to. Um, if you don't have a towel that you wanna get paint on, that's fine. You can you know, use a paper towel. Eek, I said to use a paper towel, I'm sorry. Okay, so now put your paintbrush in some water. I'm gonna start off. Here's the colors that I have. Okay, I have white, you see this, I have white, I have blue, I have green, I have yellow, and I have red, okay, 
just make sure you see all this. So these colors, right? See all my colors. So I'm gonna start off, oh, make sure you have your cup of water, right? Have a cup of water. And I'm gonna start off to um, paint my whole background. You can paint your background whatever color you like. I'm gonna use blue for mine. And you see, I have a lot of different um, shades of blue. I like different shades. So I'm gonna take some white paint, right? Take some blue and just take water, take some white, paint all your background. And again, if you want to have a pink background, you can have a pink background. You can paint whatever background that you want. That's totally up to you. Because we're going, this is about remembering to pray for the world. So whatever your favorite color is, maybe you want to use, you know, one of your favorite colors, you can do that too. And you see, this is not any kind of technique here. I'm not concerned about technique. Whatever it is that makes you happy in doing this is totally up to you. I am not a big technique person. Actually, I'm not even a trained quote unquote painter. I started painting uh, about six years, is it six? About six years now because I was out of work. I was out of work for a really long time, about seven, eight years. And I didn't have any income. That was a really horrible time in my life. And I, you know, my background is fashion design and fashion art. That's what I went to school for. And I was a designer in the garment center for about 20 something years. And, you know, I was out of work, which was horrible, right? But then I applied for a job on Craigslist for a painter at Painting with a Twist in Westport. Like, uh, I can't believe that I did that because I'm not really a painter, but I went and I applied and long story short, I got the job and I got the job because when I was in, I'm out of paint, when I went to, and again, I'm using acrylics. When I went to Painting with a Twist, I went to the first interview and you know went really well and then i had to come back for the second interview to paint well guess what i don't paint <laughs> so it was a hard thing but i told her the truth i canceled the interview i told janice that i don't paint and long story short when i went to the second interview right i went to the second interview i'm going to keep painting here and i told them that told her that i don't paint she said nope i want you to come i think you'd be great blah 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 so i went I sat in the back of the room and I started um, to paint and they would say, well, how would you teach this? Guess what? I was painting a tree. I never even um, sketched a tree, never mind painted a tree. So that was like really crazy, but okay. So I was in the back room and Michael Jackson was playing and I started, a tear came out of my eye and I just said to the Lord, you know, I really need this job. So if you can please paint through me, I'd be so thankful and I just started painting and I painted that tree and I got hired and six years later I'm still painting and a lot of things I paint I see that God gives me images and I'm really about fashion but now um, I do other things besides fashion and it's really tremendous how this has turned into something that I do now and that's because I asked God to paint through me because I needed a job. And look where it turned into. So it's really, really amazing when you start to ask that. And let me tell you something. Now's the time that creative, creativity is gonna be off the charts because people are getting really creative. And if we continue to spend time with God, he's gonna give you some amazing, say amazing everybody, say amazing, amazing ideas at this time for innovative solutions in our world to help people. I mean, the creativity that is going to be um, released on the earth from, the, uh, from God is going to be not only tremendous for you that you're going to enjoy, but it's going to be such a blessing to everybody around you because it's going to be a God idea, not a good idea, but it's going to be a God idea that you're going to be able not only to um, create uh, innovative solutions for people and um, wise and witty inventions, but it really is going to be a blessing not only to you and your family, 
but to your community, to your nation, and to the world. And so that's how we have to think of this, is that this is a time not only to connect to God, but to be able to be a blessing to everyone around you, your neighbor across the hall, your neighbor across the street. I mean, maybe you know somebody that if you're in an apartment building that is alone and you know can't have visitors, like I can't go visit my mom right now, right? So I call her all the time, but I can't visit her. My mom is not the uh, tech person. She don't have Facebook, even though we tried for years to try to uh, uh, get her to do some tech stuff and uh, texting and things like that. She's like really old school. So now it's like, you know, we call her every day, but at the same time, it's like, you know, for those of you that maybe don't have, you know, you have a grandparent, maybe that, that, that doesn't have that type of uh, tech stuff like my mom, send them a piece, of, a piece of art, send them a card in the mail. You know, the mailman is still working, right? Praise God for the mailman. So praise God for the people that are still working, like I said. So send them, maybe you're painting, maybe you can make a global uh, girl or global guy piece of art to send to your grandmother, send to a loved one, or give one to the neighbor across the street and just let them know I'm praying for you and we're praying. We're praying for everybody, right? Because when we're finished this, we're gonna end with prayer and we're gonna remind everybody that we are in this together. And that's what this plate is. So every time you eat your food, you're eating dinner, whatever it is that you're eating, you're gonna remember that this plate or this art is something that is gonna be a memory or a remembrance to you not only of this time that you were able to uh, spend quality time with your family, but a time in your life where you're gonna sit, you're gonna look back on this and see how this really was prayerfully, even though there's so much tragedy with the, um, with the virus of what's going on right now, that God said he turns around everything for the good. So whatever is going on, we're gonna still see it and we're gonna still continue to trust God that he is working everything out for the good no matter what is going on. And remember what King Solomon, he had all those sacrifices, right? The whole nation just kept sacrificing. And like I said, there were so many sacrifices, they couldn't even, they ran out of room. They ran out of room with the sacrifices, which means that we have so many things that we could give up and sacrifice to hear from God and to do what it is that he's calling us to do. And when this is all over, we're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this was a blessing in disguise for so many things that God has done for me and God is doing for me and my family. And we don't even know, um, you know, the ripple effects of what's going to be happening years later because of what God continues to do in this earth. He has not forgotten the earth. And he uh, showed me and told me to do this artwork with the earth because he hasn't forgotten us. He hasn't forgotten the earth. And we are going to just continue to trust him and I, like I said, when King David uh, did, they, they had a worship concert for God after they uh, did all their offerings and their sacrifices. They had a worship concert, right? And as they're doing their worship concert, David was the one that made all those instruments. So David made, King David made all those instruments and he made them to worship God. And so we're making art to use that to worship God. We're gonna use this art as a way to worship God. And like I said, maybe this piece of art isn't for you. Maybe this piece of art is for somebody that, um, in your neighbor or somebody that God puts on your heart to mail it to them. Whatever it is, maybe you can make a few of these pieces, make some coloring, make some of these coloring pages and give it to people. Someone may need it, okay? So I have most of the blue down here. I hope you could see that, right? So I have most of the blue down here. Now, over here, I did the bottom, see that, with yellows? You can see I did a lot of yellow, right? I have a lot of the yellows and greens and blues down there. Everyone can see that, right? Okay, so if you wanna continue yours to be blue to all the way down at the bottom, you can but I'm going to start to do some yellow on the bottom because I really like the yellows, it kind of like pops it. So I'm gonna take this, take my brush. I'm just gonna clean my brush, all right. How's everyone doing? Let's see, uh, hi Takara, hi Mary Jane, hi Valerie, uh, hi Rano, hi Susie. Hi Suzanne, how are you? Bruno, hi Bruno, hi Ronnie. 
All right, so if you're just watching, cool, but if you're doing some art, I want you to show me your, um, you know, your art later, okay? All right, so um, like I said, I cleaned my brush from the blue. I got all of that blue off there, right? So now, clean brush. Wipe that on the towel. I'm gonna get a little bit of white. I'll get a little bit of white and a lot of yellow. I want to see that a little bit of white, right? A little. Hi, Sue. Where are you, Sue? You need to be here with me, Sue. <laughs> so I got a lot of white, a little bit of yellow. And I'm just gonna make, let's see here. I'm just going to make these little half circles, right? So I'll start up here. I mean, have fun with it. This is abstract. I can't wait to see what you do because, you know, I'm doing what I do and yeah, that's great. But I want to see what you all create out of this. So now I'm going to make some of these swirly kind of uh, Van Gogh-ish, right? Well, Van Gogh-ish is more like swirls like this. So that was wrong. Sorry. I need you, Sue, because you know I'm not the art major here. Sue's the art major. I am not the art major, okay? So, all right. So I'm going to pull... Let's get some yellow, yellow, yellow. Put a little white. I'm also a sloppy painter too, so that's fun though, okay? Get some yellow. Right. Everyone's liking the snow today? Well, if you're in Connecticut, it's snowing. And that's uh, really answered prayer for me and my daughter because we love snow. There's some people's chagrin out there, but we love snow and we are happy about it. So we are happy. We are home. I'm getting ready to make some chocolate chip cookies. Has everyone been eating a lot? I know I've been reading a lot about that on Facebook. And I got to go work out with Jalen because I've uh, jumped through, through Jalen to the curb since this happened. Sorry, Jalen. <laughs> All right. So, so there's some yellow, right? And then um, what's next? Okay. So I have some green. Uh, I'm going to take a tiny bit of green. Don't use a whole lot of green when you're doing this right now because if you use a whole lot of green, right, um, it kind of turns it to green. So get a little bit of, put a little bit of green on your brush, okay? Do, do, do. do more swirls. Do more swirls. Get a little bit, yeah, there. Yeah, very pretty, right? Yeah. And if you're using markers, Please, be as creative as you want. You don't have to follow my colors. If you have crayons, you can use whatever color crayons you have. I just want to see how you do your global girl because it's really important, like I said. Not so much that you're doing every one of the techniques, right? That's not even the point of this. The point of this is to, to, for us to connect, for us to make something really fun together and to use this as a, a, a memory or a way to bless others. You can use it to pray. Like I said, this is a food plate, but you know, you can't put food on here. Don't try to eat off of there because you know, it's too much paint on there. So, all right, so now I just added a little blue. Look how pretty that looks, right? So I added a little blue. See, got some blue, 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 blue. And added that, kind of swirl that around. Now you can use some white with that blue. Kind of soften it up a little. White with that blue. White with the blue. I hope you can see all this. Once I review this, because um, this is my first time, I guess I'll make necessary adjustments. But okay, so now that blue is on there. Again, swirls. Use some blue darker in places, some blue, blue lighter in places, however you want to do this. It's again about not technique so much. That's not my gig. That's not. I'm not really concerned about technique. I want you just to have fun. But I am going to be teaching some fashion art sessions. And the fashion art sessions are going to be, let me stop a second. All right, you guys keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. So my fashion art sessions, I'm going to do um, like how to draw a croquis, how to draw um, a croquis is a fashion figure. All right. So I have like some of these. Let me pull this back. Let me show you. See if you'd be interested. All right. If you'd be interested in doing some of these like really cool paper dolls, like this is the teen version. So I have some teen versions. And what I was going to do was show you how to make some of these. If everyone, um, well, it depends. Wait, let me not get crazy. Let's, let me put it this way. You guys keep painting as I'm talking that, um, if you send me a picture of you or, and or your daughter, I can see about, you know, customizing, making shapes of, um, 
like the different various shapes not saying I'm going to customize it because that would be too much as far as like time wise but if you tell me um, you know your daughter's 6'4 size 14 I can get some basic shapes of dolls that we can work together so here's one style here's another she's cute right and so we're gonna we, I was thinking of making some paper dolls and then the clothes with it right so here's another one we can do this one is laminated I have like a million of these well not a million I have a lot of these right so if you're interested in making some of that stuff if you're interested in hold up let me get one of these things here you guys keep painting if you're interested in you know doing some fashion painting ooh, ooh, see I got all the glitter and then once we do the croquis like the the fashion figures like for the paper thing here we can do some canvases let me know, you know, right below in the comments of, you know, what it is you're interested in learning to um, do. Here's another one. Here's a painting. This is my Wonder Woman, don't even try it, girl. You know, she's full of power and, you know, glitter and everything that's wonderful. And I sold a lot of this one. I sell this in prints. I, sell, I sold a lot of this one, and I made this probably... Oh wait, here's the date, 2014. So this is six years old, but I keep the original. So if any of you wanna make any of these kind of stuffs, kind of leave comments below, and then I can look through it to see like what everyone is interested in doing, especially you, Ruby, your girls are into um, fashion and all that stuff. And Marianne and um, my mentee, Madison, She's a really excellent drawer, and I know she likes anime, so if you want to do maybe some anime. I'm not an anime um, uh, artist, but I can, you know, Google. How are you doing? Oh, look who's here. Hey, Hi. Honey. What, you what are you doing? I'm on Facebook Live. You know, you, oh, you, wow, this is live? You know, you're, inter you're, inter you're interrupting me, right? Oh, I just want to see how you're doing. <laughs> okay, let me go. I'm wait, sorry, wait, look, wait, let me, okay, so this is my husband, Listen, Carl. Listen, focus, it's going to be awesome, you're going to get something more than what you bargained for, it always happens, listen, focus. <laughs> wait, who just signed up? Okay. Hi! Bye. Just want to see what you're doing. You want to do the last one? Bye, Carl, love you, Sue, you saw that, you saw Carl come through. <laughs> anyway, all right, so everyone got the blue on the bottom, right? So now I'm going to use, all right, um, the last one. Okay, um, I see I, I see you, I see you. Uh, Dimitri, I see you. Okay, I got you. All right, so listen. The blue with a little red and white. Does anyone know what, know what that makes? Blue, red, and white. What does that make? Sue, come on, you know. Sue, blue, red, and white. What does that make? What does that make? Purple? Good, purple. All right, so let's finish the bottom down here. You see that? All right, let's finish the bottom down here with some purple. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You could do some swirls. Do some swirls. Okay, and now I'm going to use a tiny bit of white because I want to get some of that. If you could see, I want to get some lavender in there. So if you add a little bit of that white with the red and the blue you get lavender. So, and if you have a little bit more blue in your brush, I don't know if you can see what's happening here, it gets more of the blue color and it looks really, really pretty. So kind of I'm gonna finish that. Make sure that this goes all the way down to the bottom, right? All the way down, all the way down. And if you continued your background with the blue, that's fine too, however you wanna do it. Right, I'm gonna finish this all off down here. Finish this all the way down. Having fun, right? Is everyone having fun doing this? Having fun, having fun? And if you're doing your markers, you can think of making patterns. You can think of doing swirls. If you're using markers, you could um, you maybe use some markers with pens, colored pencils. It doesn't have to be just markers. You can get as creative as you want to with this, right? You could just play around with whatever mediums you have. It doesn't really matter. And if you are doing this on the paper plate, right? This is paint too. So again, as we did with this with the chalk, you can do start with chalk or you can use markers. I outlined this all with the um, marker, right? 
and then I painted all in here, which I'm gonna do in here now, but because we have a background, we started here first, but we can always, if you're just doing the plate, this is marker, outline it as you did here, then you can take your paintbrush and then paint inside, all right? And then um, we'll get to the eyelashes and all that in a minute, but okay. So I'm gonna finish this bottom. Keep going right until the edge. Okay. And later, I glitter everything, so do call leaf. Oh. <laughs> I glitter everything, and I don't have a drop cloth in this room right now. I'm, you know, in my office here, and I don't have a drop cloth, so I may have to just tell you how to do that glitter unless I run and get a drop cloth down here because you know, usually when I do the glitter, he's not around. And so I want to make sure that I'm not trying to get no argument with anyone today because I just said about preaching love. And we're going to be patient and kind. And Carl's going to be patient and kind with the glitter. Okay. Let's keep going. All right. There you go. So see, you got it all done, right? All right. Fabulous. It looks wonderful. And I'm doing this quickly only to give you instruction. You could slow this down later and, you know, go at your own pace. I'm only doing this as an informational thing for you to do. You do not have to rush. In fact, if you want to just watch now and kind of play it back later to go at your own pace, that's fine too because I want this to be enjoyable. You can um, paint this and always come back to it. You never have to, like, finish a painting at what time. And sometimes it takes me... Um, it takes me weeks or days to finish a painting. I don't, I'm never like in a rush to um, finish anything. So again, let this be a tutorial for you and you can come back, play it later if you want to, um, not about rushing anything. All right, so now, now we're gonna do in here um, the continents or the, um, the land where the people live. All right, so I'm going to clean my brush again. Let me show you this to make sure you're cleaning it. Take your cup, right? Make sure you're cleaning out your brush really well. Really well. All right. Take that out. Wipe on the paper towel or towel as I have here. All right. All right. So in here, this is where I'm going to paint all the green. Uh, let me see. See all the green in there. All right. So the edges of it have the black which you can do either in marker or you can do it with black paint. And then I have a lot of green, I have some see how they have the little bits of yellow and a little white. All right, so those are the colors for that. So I'm gonna do it over here. I'm gonna take some of my green and just do the green because I like painting with different um, shades, All right? So Kind of get over your chalk line. You can paint right over that chalk line, right? Do green. So do that whole space, the green color. And we can go back in here later to um, make the different shades of it, right? Nothing is perfect. We're not trying for perfection, as I said. All right, so now, see, that's all green, right? All green. So I'm going to take some yellow, kind of just put some yellow. Kind of dab some yellow, not all over, just maybe on the right side. However you want to do it. See how you got little, little bit of texture in there, right? So now, because I want different shades of it in there, I'm going to take this spot, and I'll take more yellow. I didn't clean my brush. I'm going to take more yellow. Now, whatever chalk color you use, you'll, you'll pick up the color of that chalk. Mine was pink. I don't really care that, you know, that's on there. I kind of like it, actually. Then I'm going to take a little bit more green. There. And if you want, I have a tiny bit of blue right on the edge here. A tiny bit of blue. And I have a little bit of blue just right on the edge, kind of shows a little depth in there, right? See how that looks? Got a little blow, got a little blow, got a little blow. And 
I know that painting with the twist is offering um, what do they call it? Like uh, you buy you pet, you can buy a kit, and you could um, do some some painting at home. You know they're being innovative to keep their business open. So you know you can always contact Janice at Painting with a Twist to purchase a kit. And um, I don't know if they're doing pickup or online. I'm not really sure, but to keep supporting her business. Um, you know, and you know, people have asked me if I'm charging, I'm not charging only because I know that, um, it's really difficult out here. Um, so I'm not charging. People have asked me if I take donations. I absolutely will. If you want to make a donation, I'm not a fool. I'll take a donation. But again, I'm really doing this because I just want to help the kids and the people at home and, um, you know, and I understand why painting with the twist is charging because they need business. So, you know, everyone's out here doing whatever kind of creative thing they need to do to help everybody. We're in this together more than like um, the money. You know, I'm trusting God for my money as well as you and everybody else. So I'm not really concerned, like I said, about the money. Um, God will make a way for me as he will for you. I really wanted this to be about creating art to uh, connect, have fun, and use this as King, you know, as King, as David did. He made instruments. He made instruments, right, to worship God. We're making art to worship God. We're making art to glorify God and be a blessing to somebody else. And this art is the global girl that is Second Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people pray, see her eyes are closed. Not that you have to pray with your eyes closed, because I pray with my eyes open, too. <laughs> but, you know, her eyes are closed in just a sign of reverence, as a sign of respect, like a bowing before God to humbly ask for help to heal the land. So, you know, this is my art. This is my way of um, just helping out here, okay? So we're going to go this little continent here. And then do this little edge. Again, if you just joined in, you do not have to use paint. Um, I'm painting, again, this is paint, but you can use paint, you can use marker. Um, we have, I made these little coloring pages that um, I'm also gonna instruct how to do that as well. So it doesn't matter about the supplies, it's more important that you have some creativity going on to just help. It's, you know, art is um, like therapy. It's very therapeutic. And again, I'm not going to be on here all day, you know, painting this thing. This is just a basic tutorial. Get you going. Do not go at my speed. I'm doing this super, super fast. Um, only so to give some direction. But you do not have to follow my pace. In fact, I'd rather you not so that you can kind of slow down. Use this time to paint, to relax, to connect with yourself, with God, with this art. It's very therapeutic to paint to um, music. Um, I do that a lot and I love it. I put on my favorite um, worship songs or, you know, um, what's it called, uh, Michael Jackson. I'll, I'll throw on Michael Jackson in a minute and start painting. And so, you know, like I said, it was a an Instagram party, a DJ playing music for like hours and um, Carl and I were dancing and we were laughing and we had great fun. Thank you for, uh, to Car and Tiffany for telling me about that because it was so much fun throughout here in those uh, eight, here in the 80s and 90s, uh, 90s music from back in the day at Bentley's when we used to party um, and dance and have so much fun. It was a lot of fun. It was extremely therapeutic. And um, if you want to do this to music instead of my voice, please, please do because you'll really enjoy the outcome. And it's good for the soul. You'll have a lot of fun. All right, so, so you see the difference already. So that's this one I just did, rushing, which is okay and it still looks great, whatever. And then there's the one that I spent a little bit more time on. Either way, it's still gonna be fun, right? All right, so now that I have all that down there, wash the brush again, all right? Take your brush. Right. <laughs> Jessica, you're like, what time are we praying? You're so funny. <laughs> Jessica, 
after I do this, and then after I eat some lunch with my family, I'm going to call you probably around three-ish. Is that you got the other girls ready to pray? She's so funny. Okay, so see how we're praying? See how everyone's coming together to pray? Beautiful thing, beautiful thing. All right, so now we're going to do the center. Now, I did blue on mine, same as, you know, the background, but that's up to you. You can make her pink, you can make her multicolored, you can make her face whatever color you'd like, okay? So now I'm going to take some white, maybe I'll make her a little on the lavender side. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to do some of that lavender for her face. All right, put that in there. Have fun with that. Kind of go all around, right? And I'm using a lot of white in this because I don't want this to be too dark. But if you want to make the inside of your um, world black or, you know, red, whatever color to make it a, a, a real big contrast, that would actually look really cool. So if you want to use black, if you want to use the bright yellow, whatever color you want to use, it does not have to be the uh, blue and uh, green that I'm doing. Again, it could be whatever color you want. Um, if you want to have more um, classes going forward, uh, you know, like I said, I'm open to whatever it is. You, if you're interested in doing, just let, let me know. Send me an email or write the comments below. Uh, I can put together something for you. I want this to be more about you creating your art your way. And I'm here just to give you a little bit of inspiration slash uh, gentle guidance. I don't want you to follow anything that I'm doing per se, except if it has to do with um, me really teaching a fashion design class as far as like, you know, um, sketching a croquis or um, like I said, I'm going to have a class of how to draw a face. Um, a fashion face, not portrait face because that's not my thing, but more of a fashion kind of thing. Um, I'm going to have that class, um, how to draw the clothes and the paper dolls is something that I, you know, I was re requested to do. Um, and if there's anything that you are interested in, like I said, put it below. And if I can accommodate that, I surely will. I'll make sure that, um, especially for the kids out there, give me some ideas. I know Madison, uh, you said the anime, which, you know, we can definitely do that again, please just give me, um, some ideas and I'll make that happen for you all right so now her face all done all right get some water in there smooth this out all right smooth everything out get in here and if there's any spots that's a little oh I went over that line or whatever you want to fix it up just fix it up no big, no big deal okay all righty how's this looking I wish I can see yours. All right, I need you guys to, um, you guys and girls, whoever is doing this, to post a picture. And let me see how yours looks. I would love to post those pictures as well. Make it fun. Let's everyone see what everyone's doing. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry a little bit now. And now we're going to do her hair. Look at her hair. Woo! Okay, so you can do whatever hair you want, all right? If you want to have um, hair that's kind of coming around or up in a ponytail, you know, be creative. If you want little Afro puffs, how cute would that be? Um, if you want some, you know, dreads, give us some dreads, whatever it is that you want to do, that's totally up to you. Um, for this, what do you think I should do? Maybe I'll do Afro puffs for her. That was a really cute idea. So I'm going to make some Afro puffs. Let me get some of this black paint. I think that's a really cool idea. So if you want to really kind of focus on making, um, her hair and if you're not sure how to do hair her hair in a certain um, style that you'd like her to, to do um, just shoot me an email a text whatever and then I'll give you a little bit of a direction okay hi Nita how are you okay so hi Barbara so whatever kind of direction you want for her hair um, just let me know. I'm going to give her some Afro puffs because I think that was a really cute idea. All right, so black paint. I'm going to take some black paint. And then, so let's see, make pretend, you know, the center, wherever your center is. From her center, I'm going to come over a couple of inches and give her some dabs. How big should the Afro puffs be? Because that's a really cool idea. 
Alright, so then you can make some afro puffs maybe and then um, give her some hair bows in there. So this earth girl is really, really cool with her afro puffs. Right? And again, this is just a whole bunch of dabbing. And don't worry, I'll show you if you're if you're doing this one, I'll show you how to do that too. So don't worry. All right, so there's one Afro Puff center, right? Come over a little bit. Just a whole bunch of dabbing. A whole bunch of dabbing. You can give her some little hair bows in here. You can put some glitter on there. Oh my god, this is so cute. All right, so keep going. You can even give her an afro too if you want to. Alright, let me I'm getting carried away. But that's what I do. I get carried away. So let me do me. Let me do me. Alright, so come up here. Get those afro puffs. Again, this is just black, and I'm doing a whole bunch of dabbing. Dabbing, I don't even know if they're even because I'm not I'm sitting off to the left here, but I hope this is even. If they're not, it's okay. Alright. So she has little Afro puffs. How cute are those? All right, so if you want to do this one, what's going to happen is you're going to take your chalk. All right, you take your chalk. And I suggest you use chalk first only because um, you may not like the placement of something. And if you're more of a free spirit and just want to use the um, paintbrush, you can do that as well. So I'm going to take my chalk. And you're just going to... Do these little swirls in here however you want to do your swirls just make sure the swir swirls are going to kind of go like there's one to the right Wait, I don't know if you see there's one to the right right then do one to the left uh, let me make sure I don't know if you can see this let me do this with the paint all right so here's a swirl no see how this one is going in that direction like this and then, um, so then on this side, you do it to the other direction, all right? So kind of get all your, and do them different shapes. I mean, not shapes, different sizes. And get all your swirls in there, all right? So for her, see how she's kind of up and around and all swirls. And then in between, I use some glitter glue, see? And this is done with a, a smaller brush, so... You use know, this, you know, like this smaller brush, right? And I dip the paint in black and white, and then just do the swirls. See that? Just do all the swirls after you do it on the chalk. So you're basically, after you do your chalk, you're going to just paint with your black and white on the brush. I dipped in black, I dipped in white, and then I just did all the swirls. And then afterwards, after this is completely dry, and I'd say to give it a couple of hours, about two to three hours before um, you, you know, um, after you do all this with the swirls, you're gonna take paper towel or your towel, and you're gonna gently just wipe it away. Right? And if it's a little bit stubborn, you can take some water. Wash it off. Okay? So it does come off. The chalk does come off, okay, with a little bit of water. So again, after you paint her face, you're going to do the hair. So for her, I did the Afro puffs kind of spontaneously. She has the swirls. And I'm going to post pictures of both of these so that you can see, you know, see them and then you can decide which one you want to do later. And now I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna go back to my chalk, right? And then from your center, use your finger, use your line. This should be kind of dry. Come down here. Make sure this is dry before you do the next step, all right? I see it's a little bit wet, but make sure it's dry. And then you wanna come down the center. And then from your center, kind of decide where the center is between here and here. And then here and here, and that might be like here. Put a little dot, all right? From that dot, we're gonna pretend that's her nose. I didn't give her a nose, but let's pretend that's her nose. Halfway between the length and the width, about here, okay? And then I'm gonna come down about an, an inch. I'm gonna make 
a heart for her mouth. There's her heart, little heart mouth. See that? And then I'm gonna do here's some other ideas, right? So then you can do little eyes down here and little half circles, not even a full circle, like a little curve. See a little curve here. All right? And then you have you have little eyebrows. Give her some little eyebrows. All right? So, and again, for the coloring page, you can do the same thing. If you don't have paint and all you have is cardstock or, or um, copy paper, all you have to do is follow how we did the world, did the globe, the earth, right? Follow it on here. Make your patterns in here. This is just cardstock and, and um, magic marker. Then you can color this in later, all right? Now, again... What I'm gonna do is do her eyes. I have a small brush, a thin brush for her eyes. Actually, uh, I'm gonna make her, hold up, wait. I'm going to make her lips a little higher. Let's, I'm gonna make those a little higher. So wait, see what happens if you have a little boo-boo? It's not really a boo-boo. I'm gonna make, here's, remember the center half and half? So I'm gonna push up her lips a little bit more so it's more like this one. Cause that one has, is um, the lips are closer together to the face to show that she's younger. So if you want to, if you want to do a woman that's a little bit more older, have her lips come down a little bit more if you want a younger fit, younger features or their faces are closer together. So depending on what kind of age you want to do, that's up to you then you wanna make sure that you have um, the lips, the heart that's gonna be the lips, a little bit closer to the nose. We're not gonna do a nose, I just put that there as um, you know, a reference point, as a halfway mark. So I'm gonna take my little brush, I'm going to give her her eyes. Give her, her eyes, I made this one a little bit thicker a little bit thicker than um, this one, only because it's paint. A little thicker. And then we're going to eyebrow, eyebrow. Okay, and see that? Forget the nose, let me just erase that. Once you have that, you know, on there, you can just erase it. Now, I'm going to give her some really cool eyelashes. Everyone loves this when I do the eyelashes, and I use, for my artwork, I use real eyelashes, but for this, now, in between the eyes, the longest part of the eyelashes are in the center. For all of you out here who have been getting those extensions, and Giselle um, for, from Connecticut Lash Brow, thank you so much for doing my eyelashes, except like, uh, now, I, now I have none. <laughs> is anybody out there with like no more eyelashes since this all happened but I don't know maybe it's just me but okay so now little brush right again halfway between the eye that's the longest point longest point right and now I'm just going to do 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 comes up to nothing, not to nothing, but like small, the, it's really like a quarter inch up here. Kind of feather it, so it comes like here, like that's the longest point, right? And then come around to the side, curve your brush a little, curve it out, curve it out. And it gets a little bit up there, curve it out. Pretty little eyelashes, she's, she's praying. Her eyes are closed in reverence to God to hear her prayers for the earth, okay? Now, clean my brush, and we're going to do a little heart-shaped mouth, because we want our words to be full of love, right? We don't want our love, our words to be, no angry words, no scared words, 
And even if our words are a little scary, we always have someone we can talk to prayerfully. But we want our words to be full of love. So that's why I've been doing these little girls with some little heart-shaped mouths so that they're, when they speak, they're full of love. Okay? So there's that little mouth on there. You have her hair, right? And if you want to give a little bit of dim dimension to her face, that's up to you. You can do that with your marker. You can do that with your pencil, however you want to do it. But if you're painting and you want to do it with the paint, whatever color that you use for her face, right? Whatever color that you use. So I used um, white, red, and blue. So I'm going to make the same thing this time. A little bit darker a little bit darker and then kind of give her an outline for her face for this one I wanted it to look a little younger so I made her 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 features a little close together because I wanted her to look a little younger um, like I said if you're doing an older person their face their their features would be a little bit elongated so here we've got to have her like so. This only shows a little bit of dimension for her face now. It's kind of smooth that out a little. Okay. All right. So if you have, like I said, you're doing that coloring page in here, um, you can do her eyes, you know, with these little cups in here, these little half circles, not even half circle. But that, whatever shape that is, I don't know. And then if you want to do some eyelashes, right? With the pencil or for your coloring page, you want to do, use a marker. And if you're not comfortable at first with a marker, use a pencil. You can always erase it. It's not a big deal, right? So let me just move this here a second. So let's say you're doing a coloring page because you don't have a canvas. You only have copy paper or you, or you only have... Um, you know, cardstock, whatever piece of paper you have that you want to use, right? So in between, you know, do these little lines here for her eyelids because, again, I keep reiterating this because I just want to make sure you get it. Her eyes are closed, not that you don't, um, you don't have to pray with your eyes closed, but it's just a sign of reverence, of respect to God, that you're coming humbly before him like Second Corinthians, I mean, so, like Second Chronicles 7.14 says, that we're coming humbly before him in, in reverence and honor and respect to God to pray to heal our land. So that's why I have uh, her eyes closed here. So, okay, the point from here to here, guess, so I'm kind of guesstimate, here would be the longest where the eyelashes are see that right all right and then from that point you can just feather it out and curve it curve it curve it I'll bring it a little bit closer so you can see this is my first time doing this um, with art so I'll look over this to make sure what kind of boo-boos I did and you know how I can make this better for next time okay and then I'll bring this up closer so just gonna feather like some of you girls have these eyelashes that are crazy looking but okay she has normal eyelashes you lash people out here what what kind is this called I don't know but you know we want to make it nice and you know pretty and not you know some of you got eyelashes out here looking like this okay that's some of y'all some of y'all got eyelashes like this we're not trying to have this right and some of you have no eyelashes now because your place is closed the, the eyelash places are closed so make sure when you're drawing her draw her eyelashes nice nice not like this because this is crazy okay all right so now lastly if you want to take your plate and um because the cardstock, I don't know how well that would hold up to the glue or copy paper, but here I have, see this? I put a little glitter in there. I put a little glitter in her earring. I made an earring for her, da-da-da, see? And then I put a little glitter on her lip, da-da-da. And then I finished it, but I put a little hole in here, a hole punched in there, right? And then I, so that she can hang it up. Now you don't have to hang it up. That's up to you if you wanna hang it up or not. But again, if you make a couple of these and you want to give it out to your neighbors, don't forget social distancing from afar. 
from afar. Give it from afar, okay? Make sure that you are not, um, you know, next to the peoples that you're not supposed to be with, right? And then for the canvas one, here's an idea too. You can even glue. Let's say you did the canvas or you, you want to do um, a canvas but not necessarily paint the world on the earth one here. You can glue it on top of that, right? How cute would that be? And now it's a kind of a 3D, right? Take this off, make pretend this, make, you know, make like that's not there. Hang it up there. You could still have her hair. You could still have, let's see, her Afro puffs. Look, whatever kind of hair you want. You got the Afro puffs. You got the curly hair, whatever kind of hair. And then maybe you want to glue this on there. So it's 3D. It's really cool 3D. However you want to do it. Or you can just paint on here. I'm just giving you options so that you can be as creative as you want to be. You don't have to um, follow everything that I'm doing. Again, this was just this was just a tutorial, just to show you um, what you could do, what you could make, right? But I want you to be creative. I want you to have fun. I want you to um, make whatever it is that you want to make. Just show me your earth girl. Show me what it is that you did. Show me what you created, because um, Again, my point in doing this only was to give a little information. Please uh, run through this again. Create with music. Create as a family. Create in your own space, whether it's, you know, you want to have some time just by yourself or you want to do it as a family or a group. Up to, and I did the girl. You could do this as a guy, you know, the guy face, however you want to do it. Most important is that we are called to pray. We are called to pray for the earth. We are called to um, humble ourselves in reverence and in awe to God so that he can heal our land because we're going through a healing right now. And it's really important that we use this time to um, create, to um, make memories. And although so many um, scary things for some people are happening in the world, it doesn't have to be scary for us when we know that God is the one that is in control. And he's asking us to number one, pray. Why? Because he hears our prayers. He's concerned about things more than we even know. So if we pray, we love one another as his commandment says the greatest commandment is what? That we love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and that we love one another, right? That he wants us to love one another. And as we're doing this, we're showing him that we trust him. And so use these global girl or global guy um, decor plates artwork um, coloring pages again to distribute to your neighbors to make as a family however you want to do it but let's be mindful that um, the art for me isn't just a way to um, be a space time filler this is important to me because God put this on my heart to do this and he put this on my heart to do this to draw people to him and drawing people um, closer to God right now is the A number one thing to do, right? Um, we want to show him that we're trusting him. As I said before, um, it's really important that we connect with each other at a time that we can't really connect with each other, but we can connect this way. And this is my way of doing, doing what I feel is important. I'm sitting here creating art and having fun with my family, but I want you to enjoy your family. And if you're alone, like I said before, um, please contact me. And if you'd like uh, me to mail you something, uh, mail you something to do, mail you maybe some coloring pages and you can't get out, please um, write below, contact me, email me, and I'll send you a package. I'll send you a package of whatever I can to help you. Um, create during this time, okay? So um, I just wanna end in prayer. So. You guys are still painting and that's good. Please take your time going through this. I did this quickly as a tutorial, but if you rewind this play back and you know, take your time doing this, as I said before, you'll enjoy it, you'll have fun. And tell me what God speaks to you through this. If God is speaking something to you through this, please let me know. I really wanna know what the Holy Spirit says to you. So let's just end by, by just um, praying and um, thanking God for the time that we've had together and how and what he's doing right now in your life and in our lives. Okay. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you for the time that we've had together. I thank you, Lord, that 
every single one that has listened and, and, and or is listening will be able to connect to you in ways maybe they're thinking they're not an artist that they're not creative and it's so not about that process but it's about just connecting with you and um, leaving space for you to come and just um, create through us to speak to us to heal us to renew us uh, to realign us what it is that you're doing in the earth right now help us not to be um, selfish to only think about ourselves but even in this time Lord show us who we can uh, connect to whether it's the phone or Facebook or Instagram or you know email a letter how about even writing a letter Lord just inspire us to do things that we would possibly never even think of at this time right now so we thank you Lord for putting other people on our hearts and minds right now that we would use our gifts and our passions and our talents to connect to people on a global network or whether it's um someone next door in our building Lord whatever it is let us just love one another at this time let us be mindful that as we look at these um plates and canvases that we've worked on today that we're really mindful about how we are so connected and it really is about a global um, uh, unity it's about it's about um, connecting with one another first to you all the idols of entertainment and uh, the things that have been taken away for us but it really isn't that it's been taken away we're just needing like I said before to just go to our rooms and just uh, ponder and contemplate what's really important to you and what's important to you is what should matter to us and be important to us. So Father, I just thank you for every person in Italy and in China and New York and places that are um, experiencing uh, devastation with this disease that you would heal the land, God. We ask that, Lord, you, you would forgive us of our sins, that we are coming before you. There's so many people that are praying, God, and I know that, Jesus, you are on the throne and you are going to answer and you are even answering right now. So, Father, as I pray and as we pray and connect together, we thank you for the anointing that is upon us, Lord. You have anointed us to go and preach the good news, and I'm doing it through art. And whatever means, Lord God, that people have for their gifts and their creativity, let us preach the good news that, Jesus, you are alive, that you are in control and that you just want us to obey you so father as we just surrender whatever it is that we are concerned about this day or uh, fearful or worried about Lord we're gonna cast our cares on you because you care for us and as we just um, close right now Holy Spirit I just thank you you use this tool of art to minister life and life and health and life more abundantly to everyone that hears or is listening this tape. Let creativity be a gift that just flows like rivers throughout the globe, throughout the universe. Whatever kind of creativity that you have put on the inside of each one of us, because each one of us has a gift of creativity. It doesn't have to be art. Whatever it is, let us use this time, use the talents and the gifts that you've given us to steward it wisely, to be a blessing not only to our families, but to others, Father. We thank you that every need is met according to your riches and glory and that you continue to provide for us lord guide us lead us and fill us with your holy spirit that we would know that we know that what it is that you are calling us to do and calling us to be in this time of hour we thank you lord god that you got this you got this and we trust you because you are faithful cover us by your blood we pray in jesus name amen so thank you each one of you Please let me know what it is that you want to do, what you want to create. Like I said, I got these little cute little paper dolls that I showed you before. If you want to do paper dolls, if you want to do um, whatever it is that you want to do, just let me know. And again, um, I'm only doing what I can do if I can't do it. Um, I know another artist, Alicia Cobb. She's on Facebook, Alicia, A-L-I-C-I-A, -I -I Cobb, C-O-B-B. Um, I'll put her link down below too. She's doing amazing art um, tutorials. She's geared a lot towards kids, but kids and adults can do it. So I'm doing what I can do more on the fashion and I'm definitely going to be um, sharing the word of God here. So um, pray that those have not who, who do not know Jesus, let them tune in because they're going to find Jesus and experience Jesus here. So Praise God. Um, you all have a blessed day. Jessica, I'll call you later and we'll pray. Keisha, I love you. Thank you for tuning in. And I see everybody. I can't see because now my glasses are off. But anyway, um, rewind the video if you're just tuning in and you can um, you know, catch up and do whatever it is that we did. Hopefully, more than anything, I want this to be a blessing not only to you for doing this, but to people around you. Okay? So, 
All right, God bless you guys, and um, I'll see you when I see you. I'm going to be led when to do the next one, and I'll let you know when that is. Okay, God bless you guys. Bye.